Chanel? Oh! I know at first touching me feels like, you know, you're making out with a 13-year-old boy, but I promise once I get my clothes off, I am super feminine. I moisturize three times a day with this really shady stuff I have to order from China, which I've heard is either A, panda sperm, or B, stem cells of political prisoners. On approach, the plane crashed, killing all on board. <laughs> oh, my God. He was sad about me, and you were the closest semi-damp orifice. I don't know where Hester is. I mean, am I my sister's keeper? And then I secretly drop handfuls of it on the floor as the movie plays. I don't understand. Why? To make the fatties feel bad about themselves. Then they feel terrible and eat more. It's like my favorite hobby. Oh, oh that guy just threw birthday cake frosting in my hair! Once Munch's head is sawed open and her brain is exposed, I'm gonna throw this pumpkin spice latte into her open brain. Wait, what? I'm gonna throw this latte into her open brain. I mean, I could have segments like how to swallow a tapeworm with Dr. Chanel Oberlin. I peed out all the blue. My butt is still really blue, though. So I kind of look like a blonde baboon. You can steal my man with your ample booty and admittedly beautiful weave, but I will not allow you to take the money he obviously left for me so I can be rich enough for everyone to like me again. I'm not giving you a pedicure, cow. I'm looking for a vein. All the ones on your arms are all poked out and covered in scar tissue. Isn't ghosting when you do a number two and you look down at the paper and there's nothing there? And so you stand up and you look in the toilet, but there's nothing there either because the turd somehow got shot down the hole before you even flush? I mean, that's ghosting. Hey, whores. Hester's moving in with us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Blood dry, blood dry, blood dry, blood dry, blood dry. Oh, stick a hot dog in it, humanity. Wow. I'm like totally damp right now. Why don't you? I don't know, figure out a way to remove your ass that's probably grown roots into that chair and leave. No network would ever hire you. Your face is what they in the business call a channel changer. I am not wearing blue rhino boob, I am blue. And where I come from, a sad and skinny 20 somethings feelings are more important than some silly little legal document. Wow, this is really salty. Did you know that I wanted to go as Ivanka Trump this year? Hmm? Yeah, she is an inspiration to us all. She's like the Chelsea Clinton from a parallel universe if Hitler won the Second World War. He can't chase us all down before we escape. I mean, yes, one of us will probably die, and yes, it'll probably be number five because the joints in her lower body don't seem to move when she runs, but I am willing to make that sacrifice. I mean, I'm dying too. We all are, in a way. Oh, sorry, I'm listening to Nothing But Up, Justin Bieber's mom's autobiography. It is gripping. I don't think it works that way. Shut up. Are you kidding me, number five? It's not doing someone a favor to pour really scalding, super delicious pumpkin spice latte into their open brain. Uh-uh. I already have someone trying to murder me at work. It is the last thing I need when I'm sitting down for an elegant, salty dinner and romantic bone sesh. <laughs> have you ever asked yourself why so many people want to murder you? No. This is all I've wanted for, like, a year. You mean years. Oh, oh, no. Year, like one whole year? I wasn't expecting this to happen. Nobody was expecting this to happen! I think poor Wardy Tyler here probably saw you naked and gagged, and you were so enraged, you decided he had to die. We've lost a lot of blood, so donate yours. But there comes a point in every long-term relationship where you feel like you just want to strangle your partner. So the fact that you actually did means we are communicating those feelings instead of burying them.